Hey, what's up, guys? This is Bob here, and once again, I'm back with another new video. Gonna be showing you that a few graphics settings of Watch Dogs 2 for uh, low end graphics card like GTX 960, or if you have a processor like AMD FX8350, that is what I got. So, in this uh, video, I'm gonna be showing you some tricks. Uh, there was a little stutter because I'm recording with the shadow play and I got only 8 gigabytes of system RAM so this is a really kind of very uh, low for this kind of game in 2017 so uh, I'm about to show you some settings that uh, you can make this game very smooth for your PC and play a little bit better than before so first uh, let, let's go with here so when you go to settings so what do we see here uh, these things are like this uh, it's staying at 10 the pixels so you might not want to change anything else and you never want to turn on vsync so here we go for quality so you can see that I, I have set my geometry thus to medium and then train is at high so low uh, improves a little bit more performance but I have set it in a way that it won't ever go below 30 so that's fine I guess I don't want to go below 30 so I want a little bit balanced uh, graphics and settings so oh, here you see that vegetation is uh, set to ultra texture resolution this is the thing mostly you need to turn low cause uh, this is my total video RAM of this graphics card 2 gigabytes. so as far as you have of uh, two uh, and if you have four probably you could turn it to medium or high uh, I have no idea about that because I don't have that graphics card with the four gigabytes of VRAM so this is the only thing that if I go even if I try setting at medium and turning everything else at low my game is going to start out a lot because I have only eight gigabytes of system RAM so you know uh, the best settings I have found for setting it uh, turning it to low and then uh, rest of all of the things are uh, mix them up with high and ultra so there we go you wanna turn this to low cause uh, in game that when you want to go for in some bushes or some you know where there is shadow is appearing a lot so in that case your frame that can go below 25 or something so it's really better to stay at low uh, instead of medium though it doesn't look that bad and headlight uh, shadows are set to two cars I think this is enough so water is high or low didn't affect for my system I don't know about you you can try to uh, try going low or high so depends on your PC and reflection is high uh, it, it looks really very odd that if I try to put it at low cause if I go on low my car has uh, no reflection or something it, it's kind of glossy if I, I mean it's kind of matte so the card doesn't look good at all so I would always love to keep it at uh, high at any cost so screen space uh, reflection is kind of thing that uh, when you put it off there will be no reflection on the street uh, there will be a little very little in a few places like splatter water and all but uh, very high makes it really awesome look so I want to keep it high so though it's fine for the system and San Francisco fog uh, can put your frame rate low or in certain places that it really hits your performance so it's fine without this it, you can even uh, see this while you play the game and depth of field it's better to turn off for a clear view in this game uh, make sure to keep your motion blur on it doesn't matter whether you put it off or on doesn't doesn't affect on your performance so it's always better to turn on cause uh, for being smooth uh, gameplay and all so bloom but as you wish I haven't found a lot of difference turning off and on so I kept it on and ambient occlusion yeah there are people who might be thinking that this is a thing what kills performance so usually it's not it's not it's SBC and, and then this HMSSAO and HBAO plus has almost similar performance so you might want to keep it at HBAO plus for the best look and temporal filtering is kind of thing that it increases performance so much uh, as you can see that 
if I turn it, uh, let's go back and you see my frame rate is at 38. So when I come back and turn it on, so it's going to be increased a lot. It goes to 51 from 38, but the matter what happens here is, is everything is very much blurry and doesn't look that clean at all. Uh, so I thought of going for very crispy and sharp uh, detail. So this is why I thought of turning it off. So if you uh, if you face any trouble turning it off, so you might want to keep it on. So all right, this is fine for my system. So this is how I go and multiple. Obviously, it's off. Never think of turning any one of this thing with uh, high definition or with 1080 pixels. So this is off. As far as possible, keep this uh, post process until it's to SMAA. No need to go for FXA, it's really bad look and a bit performance here as well. I have found so I don't know, FXA doesn't look that good at all. So I just want to go for SMAA. Here it goes. So uh, th this is it. I think uh, setting this setting, uh, setting at this way your game will really be very smooth on your GTX uh, 960 or if you have a processor very low one like AMD FX8350 and RAM is only 8GB so it's really cool settings for this kind of specs and yeah that's it so let's have a look at the gameplay like whether it's smooth or not So as you can see that while I'm going around, I'm going so fast and there is no stutter at all and it's really smooth. So there are people who might be thinking what happens in a city. So yeah, that's it. It went to 28 because I'm recording. And when I go back to the city, there is no stutter. Yeah, there was one that was called because of my recording apps of Sh Shadowplay. I'm not even using, an, using SSD, it's only a hard drive. So it can start up while I record. So okay, fine. Here we go. So we are back in the city right now. We see lots of shadows, and then it's bit uh, lots of vegetation things and all. And still we see no differences in performance or you know lag or stutter. It's really smoother. And the other thing I have to tell you before starting your game uh, you have to change this over here you you need to come back to NVIDIA profile inspector uh, you can download download it uh, try googling out or I'm putting the link in the description below so here this is the thing maximum coordinate frames you might want to keep it at 4 usually it's always at uh, use the 3d application settings and but uh, for this game you want to keep it at 4 because this is what I have found for making it smoother uh, or else if I, if I try even 1 the game is really stuttery so it's really good staying 4 and rest of other things yeah this is another thing texture filtering try to keep it at clamp instead of allow cause uh, this increases performance I have found it I experienced it and this power management management goes to prefer maximum preferences. Uh, sorry, performance. So this is this is fine. And rest of all other things are as it is. I didn't change anything else over here. So yeah, that's it. That's it. And if you want a very stable frame rate and you know a smooth gameplay experience, so you might want to keep it at 33 with this apps. And you go back. There we go. So right now we are playing this game with 33 frame rate per second. And because of that motion blur, the game is really smooth. And I do not see so much of a stutter as well in my monitor. So I think it's really gonna be fine for your system. And it could be even same for similar card of AMD as well. I don't have any idea about AMD. So this is the only settings that you can play this game in such a good way for your GTX 960 and if you have AMD processor or if you have Intel 6 series 
so it's really gonna be far more better you're gonna get more frame rate with this setting so you can try going more higher than this but I suggest you to get a little bit more system RAM if you want to turn your texture level higher than low if you even if you want to go on medium you might wanna uh, increase your system RAM alright guys this is it so if you really like my video and if you found this helpful so just uh, hit that thumbs up button and smash it and just subscribe my channel for more videos like in the future so it's really been a long time that I haven't uploaded any videos though I'll be doing it so alright stay tuned to my channel